the Signature Series is a new range from Soundcraft of analog consoles that incorporates a lot of our heritage, a lot of our legendary circuits and expertise, uh, and specifically related to analog consoles and analog circuitry. Uh, it was funny, I was talking to Elliot and uh, we were going on about GB and the Ghost and how much uh, they were a part of our Soundcraft heritage and legacy and there was such a signature element of our Soundcraft brand that we thought actually calling it Signature would be the best brand name for it, so it, that's where it came from. Making a, a, an analog Soundcraft console is a big deal. You know, this, you're talking about one of the most iconic brands in mixing consoles and you know, analog is where they made their bones. You know, that's really what Soundcraft's all about. And so when we set out to make an analog console, you have to do it justice. It has to be a proper Soundcraft mixer. So for me, it's all about being able to see exactly what's going on on the surface. You know what you want to adjust, you find it, you make the adjustment, job done. There's no hunting through layers or pressing select buttons as you have to do on most digital consoles. And I think that makes you feel more at one with the, with the music, with the sound. Uh, the mixer doesn't get in the way of the creative process. We looked at uh, what was the most highly regarded and recognised of our Soundcraft products and the GB was one that a lot of customers always refer back to as easy to use. Layout for us is everything. The GB series just feels like home. As soon as you're, you're using it in anger, it just, it just feels great and then the layout is great and the bus and the, and the orc structure is fantastic and so it's just a wonderful mixer and we really wanted to bring that into this new new signature console. When you start designing a mixing console and when you mix live sound, where do you start? You start at the input stage. So we were really cognizant that we wanted to put the best preamp that we could possibly put in the, in, in the console. And uh, one of the most popular mic pre's that, that, we that we've come across is the Ghost yeah. Mic preamp. Yeah, I used to get emails about it all the time through, through Facebook and through just private email and it was just it kept popping up and it was just a no-brainer really when when the opportunity came up to reintroduce this mic pre. And it's still relevant today uh, I mean uh, if I saw the other day FX Twin said that he used a, a Soundcraft Ghost yeah. on, on his new album Zero so that's pretty cool. So speaking as a musician um, as many of the other guys on the team are as well I think it really it's really important because we put we put a lot of musical knowledge and sensibility into how we judge things like the design of the EQs and the sound quality of the desk. When I listen to mixes, I, I, you know, I'm drawn to the sound, really. And when I play, I want it to sound amazing. And uh, a lot of times when you get smaller mixing consoles, the EQs are not that great. They're kind of unusable in some cases. They just suck out all the, all the tone. So the Sapphire was one of our really well-regarded consoles from the 1990s. And it had this really brilliant musical EQ where the mid-bands were asymmetric. So when you boosted, you got a nice, round, smooth, broad Q. And if you cut, you got automatically a more surgical effect. So really easy to use, very, very musical. For me, the Sapphire EQ that we put in on, on the console is just, it's brilliant. It sounds great when you boost. It gets rid of nastiness when you cut. It's just the perfect musical EQ. With the effects, we started with the application. We wanted to see exactly how people would use that and in the environment, you know, with the live band. Uh, and then we rounded up all the effects that we thought would make that a really good sound. So Lexicon has got so many great effects. And we put some combinations in there where you've got chorus and delay, you've got reverb and delay together, give you a really flexible solution. We wanted to find a way to put really usable compression on, on the signature series consoles. And uh, being part of Harman, we have one of the best in the business uh, in our backyard with DBX. Um, so we kind of leaned on that expertise and some of their uh, concepts on how to do compression and uh, we came up with a limiter circuit that we think sounds great on all sorts of different sources. Well, no, but maybe we could have just made this across the whole... Oh, the whole, that, whole that. The so when we started designing the console, we knew we were going to put USB recording there. But mm. then we were thinking yeah. about multi-track recording. Exactly. Well, that's all good, but you know, we're, we're studio guys as well as live guys, you know, we're thinking well, wouldn't it be great if we had like a, a multi-track interface that we could record every channel separately and then record the live gig multi-track, take it home, play it all back through and make a great mix using the proper Soundcraft mixer. It was just a great idea we thought. Soundcraft's a brand that's been constantly evolving over the years um, but at the same time it's very important to maintain continuity over that time and that's very difficult to do. 
but we believe the Signature Series is an example of how you can do that. You can put your know-how and your experience that you've gained through all those years into making better and better products. So reliability is absolutely key for a console like this, so build quality was, uh, was a real area we focused on um, from every part right down to the screws. We spent a long time choosing faders with exactly the right feel and uh, we, every product at Soundcraft undergoes really stringent environmental tests you know, for, for extended temperature and, and shake and drop testing. Obviously the material policy is the most important thing. We wanted to create um, quality uh, in there and utilising the best metals and plastics, uh, but also incorporating so that they produce the best um, feel. It's, the, it's all about the touch and feel, the ergonomics of it all. So if something does not feel right, you, you, it doesn't feel right. You need to really get down and test each component to make sure that you get the best quality when it gets out to the customer. We put a lot of work and passion into the design of the Signature Series. So what I hope people will say is that this proves that analog consoles are still very much alive. I mean, designing a good console is not something you can get out of a textbook. Um, you can only really learn it through years of experience, and that's what we have here at Soundcraft. I can really see the Signature in a few years' time becoming one of those classic Soundcraft consoles. It just encapsulates everything that's good about Soundcraft. I think people are going to say, man, how did they put this many features in this console for this price? Because really, it's one thing to make a great mixing console, but it's another thing to make a great mixing console affordable. 